It's Thursday, August 8th, 2013. And, uh, this is a video about It's about uh, a few couple days ago. I heard an interview on a uh, CBC program, CBC uh, program called uh, Q, by uh, hosted by Gian Gomeshi, and uh, he was interviewing this lady on there who operates a website called S. T F U parents. And so S T F U is an acronym for the words shut the fuck up. Okay? And so her website is S T F U parents. And it's basically being critical of parents who engage in an activity called, quote-unquote, overshare. And I'm not sure where the word overshare was coined. Uh, maybe the lady coined it. But um, when I first heard her talking, I thought, how crass and narcissistic. The lady doesn't have children, and she's being interviewed by a gay man who, unless an apparently gay man, from what I can tell, uh, who, unless he engages in, uh, what, artificial insemination, or unless he is bi, uh, he has no opportunity to have uh, flesh and blood children of his own, right? I guess he could adopt, but anyway... Uh, You know, I don't know if he has kids or not, but I'm just saying that it uh, didn't sound like it to me, you know. Maybe it does, but it doesn't sound like it. And so, uh, and of course the lady doesn't have children, and of course she's from New York. And I know there's some reasonable people in New York, but it seems like on the coast there's a lot of m more, there's a lot more narcissism and crass stuff. And when you think about it, there's kind of two problems with the phrase STFU. Uh, one problem is that in America we have something called the, F the First Amendment. And so telling people to STFU, shut the fuck up, is kind of un-American. Okay. And then, if you're you know, born like most people, uh, you are born uh, liking the opposite sex, and you are born with a built-in proclivity to be a parent, okay? Most people. And so, you might say that because it's a built-in born thing, that therefore, by the liberal you, you should receive more shaming for criticizing people with a built-in trait, okay? So think about whether the letters STFU could be applied, you know, what happens when it, they're applied to other uh, groups. For example, does the following with the following phrases, prick your conscience as a liberal. Uh, STFU, uh, blacks. STFU, American Indians. STFU, women. But uh, there's no problem with saying STFU parents, even in supposed jest. And Gion, you know, he had a really good chuckle and he, about the whole situation. He said, oh, STFU. 
he was all cutesy about it. And he said, oh, the letters STFU, well, they mean something kind of naughty, don't they? That's essentially what he was saying. Uh, and so... Um, yeah, so parents, they need to STFU. But uh, other groups, they... Oh, if you say STFU to them... Uh, that's a big problem for an ultra-lefty liberal, you know. And I will say that I, with regard to people like uh, Bill Maher, and there's kind of a coastal liberal culture that's anti-children. And I think it's really a mimetic disease of the left. Now, my father was a liberal, and I'm lar still largely an economic liberal, but I'm not a 9-11, well, I'm not a 9-11 a uh, apologist like Chomsky, Noam Chomsky, who thinks everything America does is bad, or Amy Goodman. And so, when I heard Bill Maher tell Salman Rushdie that, you know, agreeing with him that they're, they are 9-11 liberals, that made me happy. But, uh, I don't agree with Bill Maher on the issue of children. I think he's making a huge mistake by not having children. Huge. And... The key, one key thing is, in a hundred years, who's going to care that you even existed if you're some, you know, oh, everything is about me, uh, liberal type of person. Everything's about me, uh, whatever, you know, I can have a career instead of having a kid, uh, everything is equal, and if you don't agree, then I'm going to take you to court. And Canada, where the CBC, you know, is, of course, they have huge problems with uh, people offending people with uh, speech. So if you are critical of Islam in Canada, uh, you, they might send you to court, you know, or send you to jail. Hey, give you a huge fine. Because they have laws there against something called hate speech. Hate speech. Hate speech means that uh, you offended someone so much that they thought you were being so hateful and rude. It's crimes against being rude or against offending Muslims especially. Now there are some universities and some really childish kids who go to those universities who are against so-called hate speech, but they don't realize that someone else's ability to speak is contingent... I mean, that your ability to speak is contingent on other people's ability to speak. And maybe what you say is what is something they would consider hate speech. So hate speech is an evil concept. Evil. Nobody's a big fan of the you know, most people are not big fans of the KKK or the Nazis and stuff like that. Holocaust deniers and whatever. But, uh, um, Kurt, saying people they have to just shut up, that goes too far. That means you are evil if you tell other people to shut up. So when you tell people to shut the fuck up, that's an even higher level of evilness especially in, a, in the United States where we have a First Amendment, right? So, let's think of other people who should, who, if they tell us to STFU, parents, you know, I've got a cute son who's almost a year old, they're telling me, oh, I shouldn't overshare, and I shouldn't, I should just uh, shut the fuck up. Well, you know what, ultra-lefty liberal, you can shut the fuck up, Okay. And you're the one who introduced this level of rhetoric in the first place. So if you're going to say STFU, what, what can I say back? Uh, 
You know, there's other acronyms I could use. Um, that are uh, in the same class, you know. Once you introduce the word fuck, you know, I guess we'll just bring onto the table every possible expletive we can think of, huh? And uh, ascribe them to you. Uh, let's see. So, uh, anyway. So, STFU. STFU parents. An STFU, the lady who came with that website, an STFU, Gian Gomeshi, an STFU, the CBC. Okay? And what, another funny thing was I made a comment, a criticism about the show on the CBC's website, and they actually censored out the letters STFU from the comment automatically. Their computer detected, oh, STFU means a rather naughty phrase, according to Gian Gomeshi. But hey, no problem if we just say that to parents. But uh, I'm sure that uh, Gion would, uh, his eyes would bug out if someone said, Oh, STFU blacks, STFU uh, gays, STFU uh, women, STFU American Indians, STFU Latinos. Yeah, Gion, Gion would be really upset about that. And so would, no, there's another guy who would be upset. A.V. Lewis, another Canadian ultra-lefty. So you have to realize that when I use the term author lefty, yeah, I'm an economic lefty, but uh, when I hear people like uh, Chomsky and Amy Goodman and this lady who has her website about STFU parents, and uh, when I hear people who say, oh, everything should be equal and you have to respect me, no, I don't have to respect you. It's not a requirement. Thankfully, the people who founded the United States uh, were smarter than you. Well, they realized that uh, free speech means is uh, allows us to move forward, and free speech is also a key part of science. Okay, so would a it would be good for a scientist to say STFU? No, everyone gets to speak, and then after everyone speaks, then we'll figure out uh, how to move forward. Okay. And otherwise, if you don't agree, then STFU. Shut the fuck up. Okay. <laughs>